What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And today we're going to be talking about Shaq Mason and trying to figure out exactly what's going on at the right guard position. Is he worth it as a budget card? Does he add something different to your team? I know you Patriot fans are already going crazy because you probably think you're going to go what like 18 up. Was is it 18 and 0? Cuz they get the buy bam bam bam. I, bro, I don't even know what's going on. Is it 18 and 0? It might be. They play that one game, two game, whatever it is, 19 and 0, whatever you guys think you're going to be going, most of you guys already have those Patriot teams crazy already. So um, that's been something that I've been getting asked since I actually uh, saw it last night on Twitter and um, actually, you know, responded on EA Sports underscore Mutt, their Twitter handle. So we're going to take a look at the card and try to figure out exactly what he would be adding to any of your teams. Now, the one thing that I first noticed, right? When I looked at the card, obviously we all are in agreement that strength actually means something this year. Obviously with other things that are going on in the game, dudes are getting mossed out of control. It's wild. You can see somebody about to snipe that for 146. I can see that coming. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that because I don't I'm, I don't really got, you know, bread like that to be buying cards for training right now. But that's a pretty good um, price, I believe, for 89 overall. Somebody's just trying to get rid of them. Now, look, this is what I want you guys to understand. Obviously, you see in the, uh, the, the left side, the top left, the purple icon. So obviously, he's a power up. Um, you can actually get plus ones to each and every one of these, like all of you guys pretty much already know. But some of the newer viewers may not know that. So you have to add one to each of these numbers that, I'm, that you're seeing right there. Now, when you look at the right guard position, some of you guys are going to still ask me like, yo, g -Maya, are we still, you know, staying with the legends? For me, Larry Allen is still a goon. And the reason behind it, they already, they made him so souped up at the position that that strength, even when they give other Cowboys, you know, like Zach Martin and other cards, uh, as they get their upgrades, as we see what goes on, they didn't do too well against the Saints because, bro, they couldn't open up any holes for Ezekiel Elliott. So I don't know if any power-ups are coming soon for those guys, but... He already has a formidable strength going forward for a decent amount of time, regardless of what happens. Obviously, we don't think that they're going to 100 overall, so 99 is probably going to be the max. So if you figure the Ultimate Legends, when they put it out later in the year, we should still be pretty good around the 91, because to be honest, bro, like 90 to 94 tier strength, I pretty much same thing. So just look at that aspect and see that he's going to be at 85. All right, Shaq Mason, if you power him up. Okay, awareness is pretty decent. The pass block, you know, pretty much gonna be the same thing as Larry Allen. Pass block power is gonna be, you know, the 80, 85 to 89, same thing. Pass block footwork, uh, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Run block, that 88 goes to 89, add a little zone run or power run on them, whatever it is, or the John Madden coach upgrades, that easily goes to, you know, you could get that to a 90, no problem. Run block power, that's pretty good. Okay, now, when you, when you look at that situation, right, that's pretty much what I wanted to discuss because that's going to go to a 92. But like I said, 90 to 94, pretty much they're going to probably play the same. The run block finesse, I think that that's what that is, right? Um, that's going to go to a 85. So it'll be the same thing as Larry Allen because like 85 to 89, same criteria. And remember, guys, when I look at this stuff, I look at my cards and I try to distinguish the differences between, you know, when I'm doing one thing and then I take out a card and I put in another one. So I put in the work to kind of see what's going on before I just tell you guys like, yo, this and that. All right, now, when you guys see the same thing, um, that's beautiful, but some of you guys don't really have the same type of, you know, the John Madden coach edition and things like that to upgrade the cards. So if you're looking at the base card and you don't have the like the plus ones in addition to what happens with the power up, they may not play the same. Sometimes they might not play in a game. You'll have games where dudes will get shedded the whole game. I haven't had that issue with the exception of Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson, bro, like I gotta really figure out what I'm doing with that guy. I'm trying to be very, very patient, but that dude just lets everybody in on the right side. It's it's a joke. It's absolutely hilarious the way it, well, not hilarious for me, but it's just ridiculous the way it just continuously goes on. So um, I just wanted to point that out and let you guys know exactly what's happening with that uh, going forward. So. As we look at the card now, is it worth it for any team, even if you have the Patriot theme team? That is gonna be de determining on how many Patriot players you actually have. Because that strength is what scares me, okay? Even everything that he, everything else that he has, it's fine. It's like the same thing with like Jason Kelsey. If you guys remember when they gave him a limited, I was very, very cautious about that whole situation with the way that his, ju just the whole makeup of everything that he was as a, as a player in the card. Um, I know that if you're not doing things other than running, you're gonna get shedded. 
he doesn't really have the strength to keep up. So that's a major thing that you guys got to look at. Um, whether or not you think that you can get him up to be formidable, because a lot of you guys, like I said, many of you guys are Patriot fans and you have Patriot theme teams. So you could possibly get him like really, really sick and wild. In addition to all the John Madden stuff, uh, some of you guys got the passing and the rushing right now. That is huge. So that could absolutely work. But look, let's look at the bigger picture, right? He's an 89, so he'll get Kem to a 90. So even if you have a Patriots theme team, you're not losing anything based on the way my O-line is set up. All right, this guy right here, I think it's probably because he's an 88, because everybody that's at least a 90 on my O-line, they put in major work. So with that being said, I, it has to be something with that. And also, when you look at Lane Johnson, because a lot of you guys are like, yo, bro, I had to get rid of him for the other guy, the um, the theme legend, uh, whatever, theme diamond, right tackle, he's what make way better. You see that 84 strength? You see how it comes up again, guys? And many of you guys that watch me stream, it's visible. This dude is getting bodied every single snap. Like, it's not even a question about it. It's just straight, like, this dude is getting manhandled, right? So you guys got to understand that when it, when it comes to that type of situation, it's very, very difficult to try to assess whether just having a guy that's, that's like he's so fast, you know, 76, is that really something that matters over strength? Probably not, because he's not able to hold his blocks. Now you'll look at Munoz and you'll be like, yeah, but he's only 88 like strength. Like what is he doing? This dude straight pancakes dudes. I don't know what it is about his card, you know, but he handles his business. And again, remember he's like, he's like one lower at the strength factor. I could easily probably get, you know, five Eagle players and get him up to an 85, but it still would be very, very difficult to try to get what I wanted out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to point that out and make sure I'm very, very clear with it. The higher the strength at any position, the better that these dudes are going to play and you'll see the differences. You know what I'm saying? Like it's so visible to see how much, how longer they hold their blocks and how harder it is for people to shed them. Now, even though he has like, you see how all his numbers also are in like the mid eighties to lower eighties, like the 83 run block finesse and all that, that's a huge factor as well. So you gotta remember with that car with Shaq Mason, his run block power is gonna go to a 92. So he might actually at right guard play a little bit better. Okay, he might play a little bit better, but just remember this guy, Larry Allen is already at a 90. So theoretically they're doing the same things. All right, so look, bottom line about it is, you wanna make sure that you formulate the, the best O-line possible in regards to strength and the other attributes, you know, the run block. Obviously, I run the ball a lot, so I need these guys to hold their blocks a lot longer. When you look at my my situation with John Madden with the, um, the tier two, you can see that I still chose the passing and I still have yet to go back and put the running back on them because it just doesn't really matter. Like, with Michael Vick, the one, another thing that you guys will notice, I want to point out with John Madden coach, when you see the um, the attributes light up as far as like, you know, I'm going to show you this right here, Michael Vick, you see that 94 throw power. I can't really figure out if that plus one from John Madden is actually making him throw the ball as far as he actually does. Or if I took that away, would it be the same? Because realistically, like I told you, 90 to 94 should be the same type of tier. Once you get to the 90, you know, like the 95 or whatever, that should be maximum like throw power, even with everything that's going on. And I think that what happens is as EA Sports continues to tune the game, it changes up a lot. It makes it a lot different with the way that everything goes on um, as far as gameplay is like, you know, for instance, if you put him, if you bullet pass, you hold the button down and, you got, and the guy is beat deep and you bullet pass with Michael Vick, he'll actually throw the ball like 60 yards without Bazooka being activated, all right? I'm not sure if if I just took away the John Madden and made it rushing, would it be any different? But the, the thing about it that I really like is that he's able to move around a lot better with all the, you know, the, um, the chems that we have. Because you look at it, the throw under pressure, the deep throw, the medium throw, the short throw, uh, the throw on the run, I don't really go wild with it, but 93 is still wild. And then play action is kind of low, but I don't really see a difference between him and like Steve Young when I do a play action play. So those things really add a little bit more for me when it comes time to have to pass because many of you guys think that you can just go through a whole game just running the ball you theoretically could but a lot of people are playing a lot better run d right now so that can be something that's really causing issues you know what i'm saying that you're gonna probably have to throw the ball at some point is what i'm trying to say so if that becomes an issue i think that if you have the better old line up front to start it makes it a lot easier 
So that way, if you do get locked down, you still could come back and say, you know what, I'm gonna throw the ball instead of adding the tier, the, the, uh, the Madden rushing tier. Because I can show you really quickly um, what happens with that. And um, you know, when you when you do, when, when I had it on it, it's not like I saw like maximum run action going on. It's not like I saw anything different. Because my players are so good with what they do, it's not something that I really, you know, saw like spectacular. Like my guys still, go out there and block the same exact way. I didn't really see much of a difference. But with the passing game and everything that this tier one, the tier two adds, it, it really becomes something to where, hold up, why isn't it showing everything? It should be, uh, why is it, hold up, it's showing Madden rushing. Is that everything? Isn't it so much more? It, it usually, okay, there it goes. All of these things being added to my offensive side of the ball, it makes it so much easier for when I do have to pass because it increases so many different things. So I wanted to point that out because some of you guys were asking, why didn't I go back and put the rushing on and just make my, you know, make everything crazy, add like the zone run chemistries, uh, the power run chemistries, all that. It's simply because I didn't see a difference when I had it on, but I see a difference in my passing game. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that for now. But remember, I'm gonna still use my season two trophies to get those last two slots for John Madden. So I'll have the rushing and the passing very soon anyway. And it doesn't really matter at that point. So, you know, I would prefer if you're not a Patriot theme team to keep your old line the same, even though that guy gets chemmed to a 90 because of his lower strength. If you guys want the advice, I would go with just, you know, Legends. I would, I would just fill it up with Legends, bro. Cause the Legends is really what's eating right now. And then, you, you know, you'll see that your run game is a lot more stout and you can do whatever you want. And most of them, like even like Kevin Mawai, these guys have very, very good passing stats as well. My weakest link is Lane Johnson, but he will be rage sold soon. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like if you got a Lane Johnson, I already know. I don't gotta ask you. I know he's getting shedded. You know what I'm saying? But again, I gotta figure out what's best for me right now to see if I can afford what else is coming. And I think with the new promo, I think what are they doing? Like the, the Mutt Heroes or whatever? I think either he'll get an upgrade or we'll just change the player and get somebody way better. We'll just do it like that. All right, guys. So. Let me know if you have any other questions. As always, leave it in the comment section. I will have some gameplay coming to you guys later. Just be sure to join in. If you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications to know when a video goes live. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You enjoy your day. Until next time, one love.